the Kramer home. As you can see, across the street, it has the same model with an exception of they have a third car garage where they converted that into a bedroom in this home here that you're looking at. It's actually a bedroom here, which would be a good location for your uh, man cave as you were talking. This home has the two-car garage and the uh, downstairs bedroom, extra bedroom added. Pile on the entryways. This would be the side where it's usually a third car garage. This room is probably 12 by 18, which would make a good man cave also. The master bedroom will be upstairs in this unit, rather than this being a garage. It's a bedroom. But it would probably be a better man cave than uh, upstairs by the where all the bedrooms are where people will be sleeping. It's neutral paint throughout. Obviously, 20, 25 foot ceilings. Nice fixtures. As all the uh, window coverings. Two inch faux blinds. There's the circle area up there that you were speaking of. I don't think we'll go, we'll go up there, but I don't think that's going to be big enough for a, a man cave. The home does have two living areas. We're in one now. The second one will be in there to the right of the kitchen. on all the wet areas, entryway, kitchen, laundry, has the upgraded oversized maple cabinets, ceiling fans throughout, carpet in the living areas in the bedrooms, carpet's in good shape, has the granite countertops, Stainless steel appliances. I'm sure they're going to leave those or include them in the sale. It does have a gas stove. There you go. Backsplash. Also behind the sinks. Has the uh, in mounted sink. The Osmosis system, that's a drinking water filter system. This is a good sized living area too. You actually have three places for a man cave here. One of these two living areas. Or the front lower bedroom in there. Because there is another full bedroom downstairs here, also. This is behind the kitchen area. Another full bedroom.
last few minutes. It's a full bath, which would be good for uh, guests. Light fixtures are updated. This is all also the matching granite tile, full tub shower unit. So this would be a good guest area with a full bath and a full bedroom. Laundry room is huge. Goes directly to the garage. The garage they do have the water and soft water system, salt water system. It is a gas. Two-car garage with the opener and a little bit of an extension. You can see the raised extension for the garage. So we do a loop coming back towards the front door here. And then upstairs. Yeah, this is the loft area. I'd say the deepest part of the arch over to this wall is probably 12 feet. And then the half moon here across is probably another 12 feet. This would be a good little office area or a desk or something. But it's not going to be big enough for a man cave, like a pool table or anything like that. <clears throat> Uh, overlooking it does have a balcony front balcony out of the uh, loft area Two spare bedrooms at the front of the house. Ceiling fans in all the rooms. Second spare bedroom upstairs. Spares. Fixtures are upgraded up here too. Tile, granite. And then to the master bedroom. There's the little loft area you were talking about. The master bedroom is huge. This has got to be. 17 by 20. Also has the tile. Double sinks. Upgraded light fixtures too. Got the separate tub. full-size shower. Most of them come with just a half shower when they have a tub. That is a full-size shower. And then you have a big walk-in closet with a separate toilet room that has the door on it. This is a very big house. It's clean, it's in good shape. Looks like that they do have sunscreens on the outside of the windows, which is, is good out here. It helps keep the 
feet and sun out of the house. Goes along. Well, our house was three thousand dollars. We have a large covered patio in the back. No neighbors dr directly behind you, which is good. Both homes on each side are four living homes, which is good. They have those sunscreens on the larger windows up top. Okay.